is at fault for the damage to the white car, and can you claim from the black car even though there was no collision between the vehicles? You lovely people have sent me this clip a ton of times before we get into liability. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to drop a follow, like the video, and give us a comment on your thoughts. So let's get into it. We've got multiple lanes on the roundabout with multiple lanes exiting the roundabout. Black car is in the incorrect lane going around the outer edge of the roundabout. White car is in the correct lane exiting from the inner part of the roundabout. Seasoned viewers will know if they impact each other, the likelihood is that this claim would be settled on a 50-50 split liability basis as the white car still has a duty of care to check it's safe and clear to exit the roundabout when they're exiting from the inner part of the roundabout. But that isn't what we're here for today. A lot of you were asking, even though the vehicles didn't touch, can you claim from someone if they caused you to take avoidant action that resulted in damage to your car, either through colliding with something or with another vehicle? Generally, yes you can, but here I'm not so sure. So let's talk generally first. If somebody was the proximate cause of your damage, but your car didn't collide with them, can you claim? The answer is yes. You have to be able to prove their involvement, you have to be able to identify them, and you have to be able to prove that the action that caused your reaction was sufficient enough to put liability onto them. However, to satisfy all of that can be very difficult. Most people don't run cameras in their cars. If you're involved in an accident, you're usually not in a position to be able to get their details like registration and name, etc. Because usually they wouldn't stop and it's often difficult to prove that their actions led to your losses. In this case, we have a video so we can identify them, but the avoiding action taken by the white car would probably be deemed excessive in this case. I would imagine if the witness provided this footage to the white car's insurance company, they would have attempted a claim against the black car's insurance company, and I would imagine the black car's insurer would counter their allegations with something along the lines of your insured had no reason to jam the throttle and go straight into the island rather than applying the brakes and swerving and i would imagine that that counter argument would win obviously i'm in no way invalidating the fact that people in these situations panic and panic makes you do weird things it's all well and good us watching in hindsight but i don't believe you'd be able to make a successful claim against the driver of the black car in this situation with this video lovely jubbly sound as a pound